Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LetCode. In this video, we are going to learn about a very small concept called tags uh, in Playwright. Okay, so of course we are seeing all the new features from the version 1.13, but this feature is actually available on the version 1.12 itself, but the document uh, was not updated in their official website, so I skipped. Anyways, I'm going to cover it up because of course we can see that uh, documentation officially. Okay, so it's a very simple uh thing uh, it works based on the grip so what is grip uh, grip is basically a command line utility for searching plain text data set for lines that match a regular exp expressions that means it's going to work based on the exp uh, regular expressions let me give you an example here and i'm going to make it very simple as possible with the help of rejects but if you know the rejects in more detail probably you can do so many things okay just in case if you want to learn the regular expressions here is the official documentation probably you can check it out i will leave a link in the description okay now coming back to our code it's very simple so i'm not going to write any like the actual test rather i'm just going to give a demo with the console log i think that is pretty much sufficient to understand okay so very simple test uh, i have a folder called tags within that i have a test called tags.test.ts and within that i have two tests one is the sign up and another one is the login with some uh, console log okay so i'm going to bring up my terminal and before that in our playwright config dot ts file uh, already we have given this in a test match okay now coming back to this i'm going to say npm run test and that's going to run both the test here we do not have any condition it's going to run both the test okay so let's see the output so here itself you can see that running two tests and some sign up test some login test that is what our console logs okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to introduce the tags here okay so let's say that it's going to be my smoke so i'm going to give at the rate smoke and this guy is going to be sanity okay so at the rate sanity it can be any name it's not like you should always keep on like smoke sanity regression it can be based on your modules or some components like that okay uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to run only the smoke test i'm not interested to run the sanity i'm just interested to run on the smoke test okay so we'll go to our config file and here uh, what we are going to do we are going to check this globally so we should not use within the like use we have to uh, use is basically for all the page uh, the page like in the fixture we use the page here right so if you wanted to configure your browser level then we can go with the use okay so here we can select headless or the browser name or the screenshot okay but here it is something related to the files right so we will write after the use and here i'm going to say something like grip okay so grip is basically like uh, regular expressions and we have to give uh, within array because it supports like uh, for example i want to execute the um, smoke and the sanity or maybe smoke and the regression i can use so for that we are going to use the array okay now within the array uh, we have to say new and then followed by the regular expression that is nothing but the uh, rejects from the javascript and then within this we are going to say the tag name okay here i'm going to say like at the rate smoke okay now if i try to run the same test this time it is going to execute only the smoke not the sanity okay so here you can see running one test and some sign up test passed sign up is nothing but the smoke guy okay so just to make sure i'm going to add the console log here as well okay and this guy is basically my sanity so i'm going to add this here now let's say that we have multiple tests right so i'm going to add one more smoke here okay and here i'm going to make some changes uh, it's going to be like uh, add to cart something like that okay just to make you understand make us understand okay now i'm going to run this again now we can see that it's going to execute two smoke test and the sanity is going to be uh, neglected okay so without sanity we are running all these smoke tests so here you can see at the rate smoke at the rate smoke okay now you might you might ask me like whether we should include the at the rate that is not necessary it is works works based on the regular expressions like whatever we give here we should be giving here as well but it is a good practice to follow this naming kind of like naming convention so that it will be very easy to understand okay so at the rate means of course definitely whoever see they will understand okay they have used some tags and if you want to execute that particular particular tag we have to specify within our config file 
So I will recommend you to use the at the rate, but that is not necessary, but use it. Okay. Now, uh, let's say that I don't want to run the smoke. I want to run other than smoke. Now, for example, let's say that I have another test where this guy is going to be my uh, regression REG and let me give it here as well. Yeah. So I want to run all the others than the smoke. Okay. So except the smoke, I'm going to run everything. So what can I do? So I can simply uh, go here and I can say like grip invert okay so grip invert and within this i'm going to say like uh, other than smoke anything other than smoke i want to execute so if i run this now you can see it's going to run the sanity and the reg uh, regression so here you can see it's running the sanity and the regression okay now let's say let's take another scenario like i want to execute only the smoke and the regression okay so we have two smoke two smokes should be ex executed and maybe one regular expression okay so how to do it? that very simple we'll use the grip command again and here we'll say like i want to execute the smoke and then within the array i'm going to give another regular expression and within that i'm going to say i want to execute the regular expression sorry <laughs> regression as well okay so now if i try to run this so this time it's going to execute other than the sanity okay so very simple concept very easy to understand uh, if I have to compare this, I can compare this with like test ng. Okay, so in uh, Selenium, we use the test ng as a runner, right? So in test ng, we have a beautiful feature called grouping, right? So that is what uh, grep is similar to. Okay, uh, I, I think exactly same. So we can we the syntax is different, but technically both are exactly same. Okay, so here you can see smoke and regular uh, regre regression is running. Okay. So that's a very simple concept and you can have like multiple files, multiple tests and it's going to work based on the tag name. Okay. That is what tags are very simple. Okay. And here, if you notice, I have used like two regular expressions within the array, but if you're good with regular expressions, so you can convert that into one as well. Like a uh, few of the examples here, you can see that uh, we can use the slash s slash uh, like this type of conditions. Okay. Grouping and ranges, you can use that. Okay uh yeah that's it pretty cool okay so that's it uh very small topic but easy to understand i believe if you like this feature and how we are going to make use of this do let me know in the comments okay so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon